Hi friends, this is Angelica. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's card. It is Christmas in July in the Colorado Craft Company shop and I picked this adorable Chris Lauren illustrated stamp set to work with. I used Copic markers to color the sweaters with and then I made a hand stamped background. So why don't we take a quick look at the stamp set and then we'll jump right into the coloring. This is the stamp set that we're going to be working with today. It's called Sweater Weather and it has six adorable sweater stamps. There's also a few holiday sentiments and on the back of the package you'll find colored illustrations for inspiration. There is also a coordinating die set with one sweater die and that die die cuts all six sweaters. I've already set up the six sweaters in my Misty and I'm going to be stamping them onto Express It Blending Card with Tailored Expressions Chocolate Truffle Hybrid Ink. I am a huge fan of stamping with brown ink, especially when I'm going to be Copic coloring. It just really softens the lines. I'm starting off with red markers. I picked R29, R24, and R22 to work with. This is um, the red that I'm going to use on all of the sweaters. In fact, I kept all the colors the same for all of the sweaters so they would coordinate together. I really didn't have an idea of what I was doing yet. I didn't know if I was making six individual cards or if I was going to put them all on one card. I really had no idea, so I just started coloring. I'm going to be doing the majority of my coloring also in the same manner. So I'm going to start with the darkest color and work my way to the lightest color. Now you can see here, I did have a little bit of trouble getting the R22 and the R24 to blend nicely together. So I did just kind of wet the paper here on out with the lightest color first. And that with the paper being wet, it really helps the alcohol ink um, blend together inside the paper. It's been a while since I've had a long sit down coloring session. So there were some um, old habits that I had to relearn and one being my ink control. I love to color with a lot of ink and I always forget that I need to let the paper absorb the ink and let the ink um, mingle together inside the paper before I just keep coloring over and over and over again because I want instant gratification. It took me about 30 minutes to get the hang of being patient coloring an area, moving on to the next area. So the area that I just colored will have a chance to dry. And then if I need to do any sort of touch-ups, I can do it then. I am going to be skipping a lot while I'm doing the um, red first because I'm pretty much coloring all the red, like I said before, the same way. And if I was to do this again, I don't think I would start with red. I do not know why I started coloring with red because red is such an easy color to touch with a lighter marker. Like when I start using light grays to do the Santa beard or whatnot, it's so easy to take that light tip and touch red and it'll bleed and just makes a big mess. So I usually leave all of the dark colors, especially red, blue, dark grays. I leave those towards the end of the coloring session. And like I said, this has been, it's been a while since I've colored. So it just one of those um, habits that I had to learn. And for some reason I forgot. I did bring in one more red marker, R59, to help really deepen the shadow line, especially on the collars, on the bottom collar, I wanted there to be a nice shadow, um, shadow line. So the R59, um, which blends very nicely with R29 and you know, all the way back down to R22. Once I get done with all of the red coloring, I'm then gonna move onto the like till green color or blue green color, the combo that I had picked. And I am just going to color one sweater with that combo because I all of the sweaters were colored the same way. So just to save on time, I am going to show one color or one sweater and then I'm going to move on to the characters on the sweater. So since there is a lot of coloring, I'm actually going to put on some music and I will come back when it's time to put the card together.
The next combination that I'm going to be using is the sweater color. So it is BG18, BG15, BG32, and G00. For everything that I wanted to be white on the sweaters, I used warm grays to color with. So I am um, starting with W0 and then W2 and W4. I also use colorless blender um, a few times also when I wanted to blend out. I think the W4 went on a little heavy in a couple places. So I just used the um, colorless blender to kind of push that color into the paper and make it fade away a little bit.
For Santa's belt buckle and the penguin, I used dark warm grays, um, W9, W6, and W5, I believe. And um, on the belt, it wasn't really necessary to bring in a lighter color. Um, in fact, it probably wasn't that necessary to do this much sh um, shading to the sweaters, but I really wanted to practice because it's time to get back into coloring. Summer's going to be over soon up here in the uh, Pacific Northwest, and um, I tend to do a lot of coloring in the wintertime, so... This just gave me a good practice, got me used to the markers again. Um, also um, let me know that it was time to do some maintenance on my markers. I found out that a few were completely dry. So that's uh, the next thing on my to-do list is to go through and refill my markers. For Santa's skin, I used E51, E11, and I did bring in a little bit of E04 once I was done completely coloring. I just wanted Santa's nose to have a little bit more color to it, so I just put a little like backward C on the nose with the E04. And then we're gonna go right into the deer, and with the deer, Let's see, I used um, E25, E15, E13, uh, E11, and then um, E44, I believe, on the antlers. All right, made it through the coloring. I did add some white gel marks to the sweaters, die cut them, and now we're gonna make a background with Nordic snowflakes. I picked poppy seed um, cardstock and uh, poppy seed ink to stamp the snowflakes onto the cardstock. And I'm gonna go with a slimline card. I decided I wanted a dark background. I love dark backgrounds for cards. Uh, I didn't want to do black because I had stamped with brown ink, but I thought the dark gray was a really nice compromise. So now I'm just going to organize um, or just try out different arrangements of the sweaters on the slimline. And once I figured out what I liked, I added some thin foam strips to the back of the sweaters to attach them to the card base. 
Once I attached the sweaters, I did stamp a sentiment from the same stamp set onto white cardstock with black ink. And I used foam squares to attach the sentiment strip to the card. And that's going to finish today's card. That was a lot of coloring, but you know, I am so glad I did it because I'm absolutely in love with this card. I love these colors. I love these characters. They're so adorable. I want to thank you so much for um, hanging out with me today. I hope I was able to give you some tips, maybe share some new color combinations with you. Be sure to stop by the Colorado Craft Company shop to see this month's release, to see all the Christmas goodies that are now in the shop. I'll leave a link to the shop down in my description. Also a link to my blog where you're going to find more pictures and details on this card. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe. I'll be back shortly with another video. So I'll see you then. Bye.